Heute bei uns Dermot Kennedy. Dermot, thank you so much for being here. Such a pleasure. How was your day? How was your flight here? I'm doing okay, yeah. My flight was delayed a little bit, but I'm all right, yeah. How is Munich? How's your relationship to Germany? It's really nice. I've been here for shows and I've been here for holidays as well. Oh, and really? um, yeah, it's just a nice place to be, to be honest, because uh, like even the weather today is beautiful. So just it's, yeah, it, it kind of feels like a show slash holiday. Where would you go spend holiday in Germany? Where would I? I'm not sure. I did travel around Bavaria once. Um, we went to the castle that I will completely ah, mispronounce. Exactly. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. and yeah, it's just, I've had some really good times here. So what's the difference playing here in Munich and playing in Ireland, like in Dublin, for example? Um, I think the thing I always say about Germany is that people pay attention to lyrics and I feel like there's a real respect for music in the crowd in Germany. Oh, that's yeah. so nice to hear. Would you say the energy during the past years, during your concerts, has changed? Maybe a little bit, you know. Um, I think people were, what, like two years without live music? So, like, mm. it, people change for sure. So it feels, it can feel different, yeah. But um, mostly I think you just feel that people are very excited to be going to shows again. Yeah, and also the shows are getting bigger, mm. and more people. How totally. Is that? And you're always trying to keep it feeling like a small show you know what i mean like yeah. no matter how big the crowd gets you want it to feel close and intimate and so um yeah i try i try hard to do yeah that. you actually one could say you come from the streets like mm. you started street performing mm -hmm. and you still like to do that why totally. what's what's uh, the reason i just think like when you play a show to like twenty thousand people you can only see what like one percent of the crowd mm -hmm. you know and you know everyone's there and you feel the energy but like you can't see so many people. So when you play in the street, you can just like, you, you can interact with everybody. And so it just, when someone cares enough to come and watch me play music, that really means a lot to me. And so it's nice to just actually get to see people. Yeah. yeah. So what did street performing teach you? Um, it taught me that not everybody's going to like you. Okay. Uh, and that you just have to kind of stick at it. And also it helped my voice a lot. Like I have a really loud voice because I played in the street for years with no microphone and no amp or anything. So yeah, I had to work. How do people show you that they don't like your music? And they the just don't stop. They just keep walking. And they have their headphones on. Sometimes. For yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Okay, it must feel hard. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of sweet though. Like I think <laughs> when I was younger, you'd spend so much time trying to play a show or trying to play in certain venues and stuff. And it's just like no one would ever call me to do that. And so I was just like, if I play in the street, there's just hundreds, thousands of people all day, you know, mm -hmm, like that, mm -hmm. it's right there. And when was the moment you'd realize, okay, this is huge. This is getting huge. I, no, nah, like that hasn't really been a thing for me. Like, it's not as if I went from playing in the street to then like doing what I'm doing now. For me, it's been a very kind of like slow, mm -hmm. like even in Munich, you know, like first time we came here, it was like, 200 people and then a thousand and then 2000 you know like and you build it and it takes a long time people don't see that you know like people see where somebody's at now and they think they just got there true immediately and it's like it takes a long time how many years was that i don't know like since i started probably like seven years okay. but then before that like if you're talking about when i did play in the street and stuff i guess 13 15 years yeah mm -hmm. so with Sunder stories yes. you started this project of asking people very intimate questions yeah And I would like to know from you, is there any story that really surprised you? Um, that surprised me. That was one of my favorite things. And it was funny because some people were like, why aren't you answering the questions? But then for me, I was like, well, my answers are in the songs. So that's my way of doing it. But uh, answers that surprised me, I'm not sure. Like, it feels like a long time ago now. But you know what I love is that in our show now, on the screen behind me, we have like pieces of people's stories that just kind of come up and run past and stuff yeah i basically it's very important for me the reason the second album is called sonder and it's all based on that idea is because like i just want it to be about everybody instead of just me i don't want to be like here's my album and come to my show and watch me play music it's like i would like us all to share a kind of creative emotional experience i guess so so you're saying it's about everyone and you're not answering the questions because you're, question yeah, exactly. you're answering them in your songs. Well, yeah. But and also we all have the same feelings, you know what I mean? Like if I sing about it, True. great. But like, it doesn't mean that the person in the crowd hasn't felt that way before, you know? They just don't express it the way I do. Mm -hmm. But you were asking the specific question that I was wondering what your answer would be. Oh, go on, yeah. You were asking 
if you could rewrite your story, yeah. what would you do differently? Well, it's funny. A lot of people wrote back to that one and said that was the question they liked the least because they were just like, whatever happens, happens. You know what I mean? Like, like certain things, something might seem difficult at the time, but then it sets you up for a victory or something might seem like it's a difficult thing to go through, but it teaches you a lesson, you know? So some people said they don't regret anything really, which I think is cool. I think like, I don't know, I th if I could, and this is a small thing, it's not like dramatic, but if I could rewrite something about this career, I would say I would love to like those days when we were playing to like 200 people, 300 people, like when it was the beginning, I would like to sort of have lived that more. All that feels quite blurry to me because it's the beginning, right? And so it's really fast and really intense. And I, when I go and see an artist now play to like 300 people, to me, that's so cool because their career is just starting and it feels really exciting. And so I wish I was a bit more kind of present. Okay. Yeah. So your new music video is very say remarkable it's mm. very different mm -hmm. what were you trying to express Are you talking about just the last few days yes um yeah well i mean like i worked with sean and tally on that one and i think i think for me that song is so important because it just feels i don't know it feels a bit more serious or something and as i kind of get older I don't know, I just, I, I'm, I'm more open to like the darker side of songwriting and that one to me is just so much of my music is based on hope, right? And, and I feel like the concept of that video isn't necessarily the most hopeful thing, but it's just very powerful. And, and to be honest, it just, it carries so much weight because so much of my music is about life and death and, and all these different things that kind of collide and technically shouldn't be in a song together, but they just kind of, they make sense to me because they they just complement each other and you can't have one without the other almost and so that song for me i just wanted it to kind of i just wanted it i was glad because i thought it it matched how heavy that song feels for me you know there's parts of that song feel extremely hopeful and parts that feel really dark and so i feel like sean and the dancers and talia kind of achieved both yeah it's true everything's very intense in the whole music yeah. video yeah thank you so much of course.